train is coming. The adults in town keep talking about invaders. I haven't seen any, so I don't really know what they're talking about. But I do know my house has been invaded. I got a new mom and brother and sister crowding my house. And to top it off, I'm grounded for sneaking into the city pool at night. I could almost stand the punishment if I could just figure out what's going on. And who is the boy with the white sneakers? They closed our pool so long ago. Drain the water clean out, and now none of us have a place to swim except for the muddy river. I'm not supposed to be in the white pool, so I run. I run like a fox away from the hound. Gotta get me out of there before they catch me. Why not the beach city pool for me? Who says it's just for white folks? Mama says, that's just the way it is, and I don't know why. Now these white invaders from the north are staying in my house talking about they're going to change some things if we can just be patient. But I'm tired of talking and watching. I want to do something. I want to take action. They got a new law. It says black people can go anywhere white people can. So I came to the movies. I wanted to come here my whole life. Halfway into the movie, men from town bust in and start throwing glass bottles, and some of them have guns. They are screaming and trying to scare Ray. I run. I run again. I guess it's just because a rule change don't mean people have. I wanted action, and I got it. Now all I can do is run. Uncle Parnell got me and ran me home. Why can't Ray just watch a movie? What's the big deal? Everything in town seems so scary. Freedom Center changed everything. The city can't decide what to do now, I guess. So some places just stayed closed. Ray had some close calls. But he's one of the best ball players I've ever seen. Maybe one day we'll get to play together. What do you think?